Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Jillian Raby. Coming up today, Orange is the New Black climbs the piracy charts, a smart sous vide machine hits Kickstarter, and wireless electricity floats some robotic fish. New data shows that Netflix's original series Orange is the New Black was the third most pirated TV show this past spring. Of the more than 2 billion TV episodes illegally downloaded during the period, Orange is the New Black accounted for over 60 million of those. Piracy stats for the show about jailbird debutante Piper Chapman are especially telling since there are few ways to gauge its overall popularity. In fact, Netflix and HBO use these stats to gauge consumer interest. Surprisingly, there was no sign of Netflix's other tentpole, House of Cards, at the top of the list. The original Namaku Immersion Circulator is one of the best sous vide cookers on the market. Now on Kickstarter, version 2.0 offers a number of big improvements over the original, including Wi-Fi. That means you can connect it to your network and control it from afar via a mobile device. The accompanying app takes the guesswork out of the sous vide, eliminating the need for memorizing temperatures and cook times. With the new Namaku, you simply tell the app what food you're cooking and it sets the time and temperature automatically. Retail price on the Namaku 2.0 will be $250, but Kickstarter backers can reserve one and save 100 bucks. Surprisingly enough, robotic fish are gaining popularity with parents and kids, probably because you don't have to feed them and they don't die. However, you do have to charge them. That's why Sphere created the capsule aquarium that can wirelessly power its robotic fish called LumiPuff. That's right, one of the first uses of wireless power is a toy. Now it does connect to your phone through Bluetooth and the little fishies do light up and flash when your phone rings. The fish also react when you tap on the glass and a companion app lets you play games and do other stuff. The whole thing should be available in about a year and Sphere says they plan on making a robo sea turtle as well. How cute. That's DT Daily for this week. We'll see you on Monday.